Well, unless the rain melts it all, by this time tomorrow, we should have snow on the valley floor. And Chief Meteorologist Roland Stedham took the Adventure Weather Tracker to McCall, where there's already been some snow today. There's been a little bit of snow. We had a few flurries earlier today, Brent and Natalie, but it's a beautiful scene up here at McCall for the annual winter carnival. And with me right now is Mackenzie Kramer, and you're with the Chamber of Commerce. And Mackenzie, tell us what we can expect to see this year. And as you talk, we're going to have Clint show all the fun activity that's going on in the background. So tell us a little bit about the carnival. Perfect. Well, yeah, we're kicking off the 53rd annual winter carnival today. Mm -hmm. uh, it starts with the Children's Torchlight Parade, which is a really fun event for the kids. Uh, they get to carry all their light up toys and they march through town with the firefighters leading them in town. They carry big torches and light the official bonfire. Awesome. And that signals our fireworks show. So and we that, have a brand new fireworks show this year. And <laughs> that's going to be right at the right on the shoreline here, just directly north. Right of town. on the lake. Yep. Awesome. Perfect viewing spots. Bill, it is going to be a beautiful evening. And guys, I don't anticipate any snow right now for the festivities this evening, but there will be snow moving in late tonight and early tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at the live shot that we have right now from the STEM Action Drone and Jeff put that baby into motion. I want to show the folks exactly the beautiful shot that we have here in McCall right now. And as you can tell, boy, the town is just covered in snow. The ski resorts are doing great. And I have a feeling that by this time tomorrow, McCall is probably going to have an additional at least five to six inches of snow on the ground and the ski resorts will probably by this time tomorrow have an additional six to eight inches of snow on the ground and that includes the bogus basin area. So I'm going to continue to pan off to the right as Jeff is cruising right along the shoreline and you can see boy the lake is frozen over and there's a lot of snow on the lake and the temperatures really are not all that bad. So a beautiful, beautiful scene here in McCall right now, one of my favorite places in Idaho. Let's go ahead and there you can see there's Brundage off in the background right there. And boy, there's, there's a lot of snow up there. So it's a matter of time before the snow starts to move in. And I do anticipate it's going to be a good, healthy storm for much of the region. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics right now and see what we've got. First of all, there are winter weather advisories that are in effect right now. As you look at the Doppler radar, we're dry. Nothing is going on. But now as you look at the watches and warnings that we have around the region, all that purple denotes winter weather advisories that are in effect not only for the valleys, but for the mountains. And that is for snow between 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. Now it's going to start out as snow in the Treasure Valley, and then it's going to change over to rain in the afternoon in the Treasure Valley itself. So we'll see one to three inches of snow, but I'll tell you what, it is going to be, uh, shall we see a good little burst of snow in the morning, but then it's going to change over to rain. Up at the mountains, Bogus Basin and all these other areas, we should be just fine and we should have plenty of snow up in the high country. So the uh, satellite image shows the leading edge of the storm sitting off the coastline, and there you can see it. That is what is headed our way. So let's go ahead and take a look at the seven day forecast for the Treasure Valley. So we're going to be seeing snow in the morning in the valley, changing over to rain in the early afternoon. Then we should be in between storms on Sunday, increasing clouds with a chance of showers again late Monday. And it looks like the potential for some showers again on Tuesday and the seven day forecast for the mountains. Well, the mountains will be seeing some snow. It's going to be heavy at times tomorrow. Please again check your winter driving conditions before you head up to the high country tomorrow. And I think we got another shot of snow coming in around Tuesday once again. So the live shot as we come back to uh, the STEM Action drone, if you could take that real quick, guys. Here's a little different perspective of the lake. And there you can see, look how pretty that is. And all the vendors are set up and all the kids are here and they're sledding and everybody is just having a wonderful, wonderful time. And there's the vendor set up right there in the background and we're flying right over the water itself, but the water is frozen at this time. But that is a beautiful scene there, beautiful backdrop with the town of McCall right there in the background. So it's gonna be a beautiful event, guys. And I think the weather is gonna make it feel a lot like a winter carnival tomorrow. So here's Clint shot and look at all the folks. See these guys right here. They got their sleds. Everybody's going out. They're just getting ready to have a great time. We got the kids on the hill sledding. We got the vendors. They got the turkey legs cooking in the background. All sorts of good stuff. I'm getting hungry once again and I think we're going to go get us ourselves a quick bite. But uh, 
Beautiful day. Thank you, Mackenzie. Of course, We're anytime. We're having a great time. Thank you so much. Well, we're excited you're up at Carnival. And last year was a little crazy with all the snow we had, wasn't it? It was, you know. Time for Boise to come on up and, and see what snow is like again this year. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of snow in town. There really is. It looks great. Okay, guys, back to you in the studio. We'll see you in just a few minutes. Thank you, Roland. KBOI 2 will be covering the uh, incoming weather maker on air and online. Be sure to head to the KBOI 2 Facebook page tonight and, of course, tomorrow morning. KBOI 2's Lauren Clark will be providing those updates during this evening. And then reporters, of course, will be out across.